When people ask me uh, what type of farmer I am, they're probably quite surprised to hear that we're grass farmers. We're in the business of turning sunlight into uh, energy through a growing plant. It's about looking after the land more so than worrying about the animal all the time. If we look after the land, we end up with healthy animals. We are end up in turn healthy. It's, it's mimicking what nature has done for millions of years with grass, cows, moving. You know, it's, not, it's not a stationary process, it's an it's a evolutionary process of, of uh, taking your land in a positive direction. So how, how do I grow grass with animals and, and mimic nature? It's about essentially growing taller grass. We've got then cattle at high density. We, we aim to consume one third, trample one third and leave one third standing. So it's about looking after the land that then looks after the animal. Uh, the animal in this sort of grazing technique is allowed to just take the cream out of the top. We're focused on getting quality grass through our cow daily. We're 100% focused on trapping every bit of rain that falls on our property in our soil. We want to create soil that has deep humus, that has organic matter, and then it's a sponge. The grass that's trampled and laying on the soil surface is protecting it from the sun. It's also feeding the soil biology. We've got bacteria, fungi, earthworms, protozoa, everything in there. There's a, there's a whole community under the ground and if we're not laying down some grass and feeding that community, they die. In the, in the last two years of this being implemented, the soil life has just exploded. Uh, we're growing grass for longer. Our animals are more healthy. We don't need fertiliser. We, we've got a cow. She's got four legs and a mouth, and that's my fertiliser factory with management involved. If you think about the way the large herds have uh, grazed grasslands over the years, it, it's about moving. They've got predators behind them. There's lions, there's tigers, there's cheetahs. What we're implying here is the electric fence, that's our line. We're always moving our cattle. People might look from the surface in and think, oh, you've got them tight, there. You know, there's an electric fence, let them roam. But what we're actually doing is giving them a salad bar every day, sometimes twice daily. You know, they're into fresh green grass. We're not just focused on beef, we've got pigs, we've got bees, we've got bush foods, we've got cherries, pomegranates and cut flowers. I'm getting really excited about this groundswell and movement of people getting connected with where their food comes from, knowing that I have a relationship with the land, the animals, and then in turn are offering a quality product to the local community.